Hey everybody, how's it going? I'm Satham and welcome back to another episode of Sea Dogs to Each His Own. So, we are now continuing with where we left off in the previous episode. And we have those two ships to deal with. Um, I know that I did kind of end the episode before the episode was actually ended in the sense of the commentary. But I didn't want to really cut that portion out just so you can see what I am doing and what is happening. So my plan is I want to damage the sails of that second ship. I also want to work on the other ship just in case, just to be on the safe side because he can still move a tad bit. And obviously when we get close enough we are going to swap over to the uh, grape shot and try and sort out the crews for the ships because my intention is to board them, capture them and get all the loot and stuff and then obviously sell them later on. I mean I might end up swapping out the ship that I've currently got for some for one of those if it is better than mine which I kinda doubt it but you would never know, you never know. So. You know, it's a free ship with a lot of cargo that can be sold and turned into money. So in this episode we will continue and hopefully turn in the quest successfully. If you guys enjoy this episode, please do not forget to support me by hitting that like button. Subscribe to the channel if you're new and why not? Check out some of my other videos here on the channel. Who knows, you might just enjoy them. I mean, currently speaking, that second ship is actually getting further and further away from the first ship which is actually a good thing for me because I can try and target that second ship more often than the first ship but now he's going back to the first ship which is annoying ah that was good that was a good hit did some damage to the sails I mean, I am barely scratching his sails, which is somewhat annoying. However, I don't want to get too close because, well, there are two ships against one. And it would probably end terribly wrong for us. Okay. So I am actually looking at where my cannons are facing. Hopefully I can... Focus a bit more on that second ship. The first ship is not going anywhere as it currently stands. Hopefully my crew doesn't take too much damage either. Because that's another important element of this. We do need a sufficient amount of crew to successfully board both ships. Okay, I'm going to wait for that guy to kind of move a bit away from the first ship because as you can see my crew don't really know what to aim at and they do randomly select a target if they are both within fire range and I think, I suspect, it tends to be the one that is closest. Whereas I'm not really worried about that one because he's kind of immobilized. I might still fire a few cannonballs at his direction just to remind him that I'm still here and maybe do some more damage to his sails because he can move a tad bit. Not a lot, but as this is going to be a long battle, you know, last thing I want is this guy trying to get close to me because otherwise I will be quite screwed basically. So that means I'll, my only option of getting away is sailing against the wind, which is a no-go, unfortunately. So I do want that guy to be stable. Or immobilized. That's what I meant by the word stable, anyways. Okay. On the bright side, that second ship is in pursuit. So we do want to split them up. So I think this is 
something I'm gonna have to do. I'm gonna have to try and get that second ship to follow us away from from the first ship, so that way we only deal with one firing at us instead of two. Which obviously goes without say that we are attempting to reduce the amount of incoming damage. Not that they're actually hitting us very often, but I would rather have just one ship shooting at me as opposed to two. Okay, I think he's just in range. He doesn't seem to actually want to go too far from his companion. It's almost like the NPC knows what my intention is. But you see, the NPC that fight against you are far more smarter than your NPC crew that you will um, that you will assign to ships. They're actually better and smarter because they're the ones that you assign to ships, the captains that you assign to ships, really get themselves into a pickle. So you can't really rely on them. The right side, ready to fire. Okay. Load the For some reason, there's another issue with this game where... Where, for some reason, it stops firing cannonballs at the ships that you are trying to fight. This seems to be a randomly occurring bug, so you will have to reload your your uh, ammunition. I don't understand why it does that. It's not uh, a big problem, but it is a problem, especially if you are outnumbered and time is an important thing. And obviously, in this kind of a battle, time is somewhat important because the more shots these guys fire at me, the more they will hit me, the more damage I will take. Obviously, as you can see, they are missing quite a fair bit. I'm going to try and get close to that guy now. Well, that was a, a failed attempt. <laughs> Obviously, we don't have a lot of wind in our sails, so I need to be careful with the incoming cannonballs. I don't want them to put holes or too many holes in my sails. So when I see them firing cannonballs, I will raise my sails just to protect them. Okay, so it's time to... Well, I'm risking it a bit. Because that guy up there, over there, um, still has a fair amount of health on his sails. My attempt is to get close to this guy so I can start swapping over to Grape Shot in a bit. However, I need to bear in mind the fact that the second ship's sails are still pretty healthy. And he can come to the first ship's aid which can complicate the situation quite a bit so I'm gonna try and do some damage to the first ship screw from this distance I will probably miss most of the shots but the way I look at it the more I reduce the first ship screw the more I reduce the frequency at which it will shoot at me so, I, yeah, I, I will miss most of my shots, but then, as I get close to him, he won't have a lot of time to reload, to change and reload to cha uh, um, grape shot and do damage to my crew. At least that's the idea anyways. It doesn't, of course, uh, always work out as I intended, but... Hopefully this time around we might have a bit of luck. And I think he's swapped to bombs. And those do a tremendous amount of damage. So therefore I need to work mighty fast to take out his crew. Because he seems to be doing quite a bit of damage now. And at this range it wouldn't surprise me if he swapped to bombs. Because they will do a lot of damage and... The NPCs seem to have been programmed to know when to use the bombs and stuff. 
Ouchies. The left side, ready to fire. And I'm thankful on that note for every shot that he misses. <laughs> Ouch. Okay, we are doing alright. So that guy's crew is steadily decreasing. That is promising. So to make my life as easy as possible and the boarding as quick as possible, I'm going to try and reduce his crew numbers as much as possible and try and bring it to its bare minimum or as close as possible to its bare minimum. It really does depend on how the battle is going, bearing in mind that there are two ships on me. However, that second ship seems to have gotten quite far away from me, so I am quite relaxed at the moment. I'm quite confident as well. Okay, we are taking a bit of damage. Not too much, but still a thing to keep an eye on. Now, of course, I could go and board him now. Although he still has a fair amount of crew left, so... If the NPC has been programmed to fight back, that could result in a significant damage to my crew, which would then impact on my ability to deal with the second ship. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this guy's crew down to absolute minimum. And I think that's okay. We now need to get close before the other ship comes to this guy's aid, which is what he's doing, as you can see, in my right corner. That is what he's attempting to do. I need to board him quickly. Otherwise, I'll have two ships to deal with. There we go. That's the one. Perfection. What? No, no. I want to board. What? There we go. That was it. And that was the result of bringing down your opponent's crew to a bare minimum. Quick boarding fight. So now let's loot all the stuff that we can find. Oh, there we go. A machete. I'll take that. That does bring in a hefty amount of money. Excuse me, sir. I need to get here. What have we got? Ooh. Nice. These will all add up and we'll bring in some money. I'll take that as well. Okay. <laughs> I was trying to get past my uh, boarding party to at least land one hit on these guys, but, well, they didn't last very long, did they? Um, yeah, I'm going to take that. I mean, it's not powerful, but it will bring in money. Nothing here. What about here? Yep, that's good. I want that. Time to fight the captain. Ouch. Right. So now he's run out of stamina. Now is my chance to try and land as many hits on him. It's so annoying that they heal. And I guess this comes because of the difficulty that I've selected. But it's alright. It's alright. It keeps things more interesting. It makes me think about my strategy as well in terms of fighting these characters. 
these NPCs. I just kind of wish I had more stamina. But I do have a pistol. And I do enjoy using it. It does a lot of damage. <laughs> Come on. There we go. Take that. Okay, not long for this guy to to take. He's going to go down soonish. The only problem here is that I'm quite literally out of stamina, so I have to wait for it to go back up before I can actually perform an attack on him. I was kind of hoping that that would kill him, but I guess not. There you go. Oh, that is a interesting sword. Let's see. Ooh, I like the damage on that. Yes, please. And thank you, sir. What else? What have we got here? Oh, nice amount of money. I I don't mind that. It does help out. You know, our crew does need paying. Anything here? Um, ginger root. Yay. Just what the doctor ordered. Anything here? Nope. What about here? Uh, five blood balls. That'll do. And let's see what we've got here. Ooh. Healing potion, some uh some other good stuff. So we are going to assign a captain. Who am I going to assign? I think I'll put you as a captain. What have you got? Okay, we don't want anything off of that. I now wanna save here just in case things go south. So I'm going to use a clean save just in case I need to load back to before the fight. I mean, I don't see why I would need to do that. And now I need to chase that brig. Try and stop it in its tracks because as you can see, it's now trying to make a run for it. And once I've dealt with that Briggs sails, we will do the exact same as we did with the first and try and take out the crew before we board it. Uh, what the heck just happened? Yo, okay. I thought he was going to try and do something there. But why can't I see the, the seabed? Something happened there with the graphics. Whatever. Let's continue. And I guess the other advantage of the grape shot, aka buckshots, is that they also do damage to the sails as well. And he's now shooting at us. Ouchie. Oh, I just missed most of those shots. I just hope that he doesn't switch to the grape shot as well, because that's that's normally not good when that happens. And the NPC captains that you fight against can actually do that. I don't mind him using the bombs and doing a lot of damage to my ship's hull. That doesn't really bother me. At the moment he's losing crewmen quite fast. And obviously that is affecting his ability to reload his cannons in terms of how quickly he's able to reload the cannons. 
Oh, time to pull up the sails and give them a broadside. Out of which, of course, almost every shot missed its mark. <laughs> Hey, you're not going anywhere for end. Come here. Let us have a little discussion, yes? The right side, ready to fire. I want to talk to you. Come on. Ah, man. Okay, so what happened there is one of my cannons just went kablooey. So, now on that side, I just have minus one cannon. The left side, ready to fire. Sorry, let's... Uh, let me refresh that and say minus two cannons. Minus three cannons. Oh, wonderful. This complicates the situation a bit. And yes, that is a thing that does happen to your ships if you use your cannons in a single battle too often. And it is annoying. So that means when I go to the shipyard, I will need to purchase some cannons to replace the ones that have been destroyed. Seem okay, I was gonna say it seems like you lost a cannon on the front, but I guess not. Oh, we are actually quite far from uh, where we took the first ship. Oh my lord, these guys are so bad at aiming those cannons. <laughs> Ow, don't do that. Okay, I think he's now... It sounds like he's using the bug shot which is not good for me oh brilliant another cannon has gone what a wonderful time we're having I mean I could board them now I do want to make my life easier during the boarding especially in terms of crew losses because it's not easy getting a full crew as you've seen in previous videos not at this current time anyways, maybe later on uh, we might be able to find more seamen to recruit for ships. But at the current time we only get a small amount of crew. Okay, I think we are quite close to where I want them to be and after this broadside I am going to go and claim my prize. The left side, ready to fire. I'll just give him another broadside, just for good measure. The right side, and it's now time to go and claim my prize. I do want to be careful how I board him, so that should do, like so. Also notice there is a musket salvo that I have, which does also help with boarding. It does do damage to the opponent's crew just before the boarding. Obviously, if I have it, that means NPC captains can also have it. So that is a thing to watch out for when you are boarding ships. Okay, nothing here. What about here? All right, okay. Happy with that. Nice. We have gathered quite a decent amount of the expensive wine. The one that we had to get for the soldier at the fort at the beginning of the mission. Aha! I'm at the front. I managed to hit one of them. That's always a bonus. Oh, hello. 
Ah. I mean, I won't personally use any of that. It's kind of like a little mini shotgun, so it does a tremendous uh, AOE damage. But I will take it because why not? You know, might be useful at some point in the future. Okay. We have some of that. Okay, I'll take that. Uh, what have we got here? Nothing. Maybe something here? Okay, I guess not. Howdy, Captain. Ha! You missed. And I missed as well because I... Uh, well, whatever. <laughs> I timed it wrong. And I missed again because he dodged it. And obviously, he heals. I do like the critical hits. They don't happen very often, but they do put a smile on my face. This guy seems to have quite a large amount of health. <laughs> He's making me work for the ship. At least he's not decided to blow up the gunpowder room. <laughs> that would have really sucked. So I guess overall, I'm guessing that I haven't lost a lot of crewmen, obviously, based off of how successful the boarding was. I do have a spare captain, so all in all... Apart from the rewards that this quest gives us, we also have two ships. Not a bad journey after all. We did have a few hiccups here and there, but... I mean, in terms of getting to this location, we did have a few hiccups with those pesky pirates that kept following us, but not a bad journey after all. On the bright side, it seems like... The captain that we are fighting has run out of health potions. Uh, I don't have stamina as such. I do need to wait for it to regenerate after each hit. Sometimes after two. I need to wait for two rounds. Like you just saw there. After all, I am using an axe. I think this uses more stamina. But it does do more damage than what I currently had available to me in terms of a melee weapon. So, you know, I was kind of hoping that it would make battles a bit more quicker. And while I'm waiting, uh, I decided to spin around and kind of admire the captain's cabin. Goodbye. 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 Finally, Jesus. Uh, what do you have here, sir? Some money. That's always welcome, and some some health potions. Those are welcome as well. What about here? Uh, we'll take it. Just because I'm greedy. What about here? Anything good? Oh, a tomahawk. Now, I'm not going to use a tomahawk, but that will fetch us a hefty amount of money. Let's see, what do you have in your hold? Nothing all that important, but, of course, we can sell what we do not need, and obviously sell the ships, because we don't really want them. I'm going to assign you, because you're kind of kind of useless in terms of abilities. 
Hmm. Who am I going to put captain on the ship? I'll put you. So, um, we now have two ships. We have leveled up a couple of times. Or our crew. Or uh, our officers might have leveled up, actually. Just a quick check here. Okay. So I can put that ability on you. What else? I know someone else is... Well, I did, I, I did see a level up somewhere, so maybe someone else leveled up. Um, we can put you as a boarder. You don't seem to have a lot of health, so you might end up dying in the process. I want... So, uh, I'm going to work on my cannons as I level up, as well as on my trading ability. I do want to be able to make money easier. And then, on the repair skills. Those are my prioritize. Uh, so, we should... Ah, there we go. There is our companion who's happy that we brought him here and wants to talk to us. Yay, I got so much money. I mean, it wasn't all that difficult. It was time-consuming, but not difficult at all. Um, time to trade between ships. Get all the stuff that we need off of the ships that we have captured. So what's left on this? Nothing. That is empty. We have a second ship that we have captured that needs emptying out. Um, just about, yeah. Okay, cool. I'm gonna go to the store, sell the excess stuff. Then we take off the cannons off the ships that we have captured, I'll and obviously sell around. the cannons separately, and also sell the ships. Again, I don't have a carpenter, so no use for that. I didn't actually get all that much in terms of ammunition. And I did use a fair amount of gunpowder as well. Not that I could sell it here anyways. I'm wondering if I should buy some more food. Um, I think I'm alright with what I currently have. So we'll select the second ship. And that's empty. That's got some stuff on it. Okay, cool. Yeah, I was just looking at the abilities of the ships that I've captured to see if they were better than mine, but they are not, so they get sold. Okay, that'll fetch us a bit of additional cash. I guess that's it. I mean, I could sell the food off this ship, but I'm probably not going to get a lot of money off of it. And if anything, it's better that I take the food. Um, I'm also actually wondering if I want to keep one of the ships just to carry some stuff with me back to uh, the island that we came from. So that's what we can get, okay. So I might end up going back with two ships actually, maybe more. Yeah, it's just hit me, while I'm here, I could repair the ships, get some crew on them, carry as much cargo as I can back and sell it in the port before we turn in the quest.
So that'll mean we need some room on this to keep the sailors happy. Something like that, that'll do. And some gunpowder, not a lot, but just some gunpowder. Maybe some ammunition. Kind of like that. And we'll give them some cannonballs. Oh, I'm throwing them. Haha. <laughs> okay, never mind. Oops. Actually, ended up throwing them overboard. Whatever. So we'll need to remove some sugar. There are some cannonballs right there. Some chain shot, maybe. Don't need that much. Obviously, to fire those, you'll need some. Oh. Crikey. That's what the problem is. <laughs> Obviously, to fire the cannonballs and all the stuff that we put on the ship, they'll need gunpowder. They'll need medicines. And I'm not going to give them any weapons because they're not going to do any of that stuff. My store is at your service. So, quick look at what we have here. Currently speaking. What can we put on the ship? Um, I'm going to buy all the stuff from the merchant. Now, initially, I was going to sell them, but I just had this brilliant idea of picking up all the stuff before we head back to sell into that port. And I know they need sugar. Sugar does fetch quite a decent amount of money. This guy's got a ton of sugar. So I'm going to put all my money in the sugar and then sell it once we get there. Hopefully we get there with everything in one piece. But before I actually fill up the cargo hold with sugar, I must make sure that I put all the other stuff. So food, rum, medicines. They won't need any weapons because I don't really intend to use them in battles. And we'll take everything that we can. We'll need to remove some of it because obviously we'll need to find a crew. So we're going to go to the tavern, pick up some crew for the other two ships. We're always happy to serve our customers here, especially the ones who aren't stingy with the tips. So maybe... Okay. Haha, <laughs> there's the problem, see? Because the cargo hold is overloaded with goods, I can't put in... A lot of crew, so I'm gonna have to take some stuff off of this. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to swap between ships, I think, or take some stuff off of it. Maybe, maybe that'll help. Let's see what else. Take some sugar off of that. And I think we should be okay now. I only want to put the bare minimum. Just enough to get the ship into that harbor. There we go. That's sufficient. And how much do you need? Okay, 19 crew. And that's it. Perfect. Perfection. We can always supplement those two ships' crew from our main ship if we need to. I'm back at the store because I want to fill my cargo my to the brim with sugar. So I still have a bit of space. As we might end up losing some sugar to rats. So that should do. That's alright. And we could take some tobacco. Do I want tobacco? Okay, fine, I'll take tobacco. I mean, even if it's not a thing that they want there on Westmoreland, whatever it's called. We did buy it cheap because it is produced here. That's why it is green. So before we set off, we might need to repair our ships. That would actually be a beneficial thing. Just in case we get to into some trouble. Obviously, that means we will waste a bit of money. 
I could also risk it and uh, make my way down that way. And I also need some cannons. Which I cannot put because I don't have... Hold on, what, what was going on? Yeah, heh. <laughs> it would help if I wouldn't be overloaded. I could probably put cannons, but I'm not going to drop any of the stuff that I just purchased because it is expensive. So unfortunately, I'm going to have to find those cannons elsewhere. And I have lost a fair amount of cannons. 52,000 pesos, it's alright, we will make it back, hopefully. Okay, so I am going to save here, and I shall see you folks in the next episode. That is it for this particular episode, folks. If you have enjoyed it, please don't forget to support me and the channel by hitting that like button. Subscribe to the channel if you're new, and why not? Check out some of my other videos here on the channel. Who knows, you might just enjoy them. Until next time, stay safe, folks.